Connor Russell. Connor last at bat drew a walk on, I believe, full count. And he likes the first pitch that he sees. Let's see what happens here. Warhawks come in on it, center fielder. He's going to pull it down, and we've got a play at the plate. That ball is going to be high, so sacrifice fly. First pitch there. Hey, one of the things, uh, Brandon, we have at uh, – within our organization. We've got some really good people. Not only have we got Coach Freddie, who has uh, some good Major League Baseball experience at the highest level, another good friend of ours who's also part of our program is Scott Hairston. That ball's low and in the dirt there. Uh, Scott Hairston is actually joining us at the table, uh, joining us and, and uh, coming to check out the game a little bit. He, he doesn't live far away, but Coach Scott, how are you? Oh, doing good. <laughs> Beautiful Saturday. Right, yeah. the, the temperature is not bad. Um, you know, you, we we've spent a lot of time on the field together, and uh, some of the stuff that uh, that you share with them, you work with all of our outfielders. So I want to go kind of go to outfield right now. What's some of the stuff you've seen them progress with? Ball's going to be outside. Some of the stuff you, uh, you you see that they are progressing with throughout the season that you've been working with our guys. Yeah, I, I think the most important thing is the first step as an outfielder. We've been working on our dropbacks. Uh, practice uh, I see a significant uh, difference between the start of the season until now um, I think that's important for them to realize that um, getting the jump getting the proper read on the ball is crucial playing a good outfield um, and then not only that I think they're um, understanding um, the cutoff and relay situation right that, that first throw um, is crucial again to, to getting that potential out so I've, I've seen a lot of good from uh, our players and we'll continue to, to put the work in right speaking of drop step I mean Connor demonstrated that <laughs> you saw that yes. the last yeah. one I mean it's got to warm your heart a little bit to help that uh, that you have helped develop that player to get to a ball like that over this year yeah that was really good to see I mean right off the bat I saw Connor drop to his left and um, got a really good jump on the ball. He was able to make that catch uh, almost to the wall out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he saved a run. So, Absolutely. Um, that was really, really good to see. I had a big smile on my face when he ended up catching that ball. Right. Scott, you know, as one of the things we also talk about is uh, we're in between innings here. It's what, the uh, the middle of the, the middle second of here? second, yep. So one of the things is, you know, you work with us always in the cage. It's, it's, these, our players are so lucky to have Freddie and you uh, working with them. I mean, both of you have over 10 years experience hitting at the highest level in the game. What are what are some of the things you talk, we talk about approach a lot. Here we are, they're playing their first wood bat tournament. Talk to us about what it's like to approach. If you're if you're a 13 or 14 year old stepping into this game with their wood bat for the first time, what are you looking for as a hitter going into this? Well, as a hitter, I mean, you really can't let that wood bat get in your head too much. Obviously, the the sweet spot is a lot smaller in, in the wood bat than, than the metal bat. But again, these kids are, are, are pretty young and, and they have that learning curve of using wood. Uh, obviously, the ball carries further when they're using metal. So these kids need to really work on their line drive strokes right now instead of that dip and drive. Uh, yeah. If they try that dip and drive with a wood bat, um, you're gonna see a lot of fly outs yeah. pop up. So I, I think- Maybe even some firewood too. Yeah, maybe some <laughs> firewood, yeah. So I think the most important thing is a hitter, you're just trying to barrel the ball up, not trying to do too much. And again, not trying to get too big with your swing. Right. So here we go. We're gonna be in the bottom of the second. Again, Warhawks drew the home on on the flip at the plate. And so now leading off here in the bottom of the second, it's gonna be Carter Daly, number three. And Scott, right, coming up, go. Scott, a question on the, sticking with the wood bats with you, uh, Scott. Once again, we're joined with by Scott Hairston, former MLB player, um, had a lot of great success in the, in the pros. Scott, when was the first time you actually played a game with a wood bat? Oh wow, that was uh, my sophomore year of high school. So okay. I was okay. 16 years old okay. at the time. Do you find a lot of the guys nowadays are swinging wood a lot earlier in their career? Yes, they are. Um, I think it's a good opportunity for kids to do that. I mean, um, just to give them an idea on, on this, the sweet, the difference of the sweet spot. Yeah. As a 
as a young hitter using metal all the time, um, you can get away with a lot. Yeah. You can get jammed and, and, and still get the ball out over the, uh, the infield. And a wood bat, obviously, sometimes it breaks, and you're not rewarded that hit. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I just think it's it, it's good for young hitters to, to have that barrel control, to learn that at a young age. Yeah. And so, that's just going to make them better hitters uh, later yeah. on. Yeah. Great pitch there from Sanchez. That's he was ahead 0-2. That, <laughs> that thing broke right in. I mean, if he didn't swing, he was going to get rung up. Yeah, Daly barely fell that one off. So here he is, 0-2. And he goes with it again. That one's right. down. So right. Now, now, Scott, you also have a son that uh, is all part of our program and, and a son who's a freshman starting high school ball for the first time. Uh, what's that freshman experience been like for him on the, on the team? Oh, it's been really good so far. I mean, high school baseball, um, I, did, I remember like it was yesterday when I was in high school. That's a big step for uh, a young kid, and then especially in the baseball, our kids start getting bigger, stronger, our pitchers start throwing harder, um, and it's an adjustment period. And I think Landon's handled that very well. Um, he's even got a couple games with the varsity team um, mm -hmm. this year, which, which he's pumped about. But Again, it's, it's that development stage that we're trying to prepare our kids who aren't in high school yet um, for that uh, period in their life, that adjustment. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a, another great catch. By the yeah, stars. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, the Stars outfield is doing Coach Scott Hairston proud right now. Very. But well, it, it's a testament to what you're able to do as coach your son. I know uh, great things about your son Landon, and he can rake from everything that we uh, that we know about him. And uh, and and your younger son Dallas, who plays with us as well, is a phenomenal hitter and player. So a lot of good things coming out of the Harrison family, which I think you're third generation. And uh, and so you know, there's there's baseball goes way back in the Harrison family. So. We're, we're privileged to be able to uh, to work with, with Coach Scott and have him uh, as part of all of this uh, with us and Coach Freddie. So, uh, Scott, we really appreciate, appreciate you coming out and sharing this wisdom with us today and, and uh, checking out some of the game. I, I know it's close to home, but it's always good to see you, my friend. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, Mike. And uh, It's always good to see these guys come out and compete. Uh, I've gotten to know uh, a lot of these players pretty well, and it's good to see them improve. Um, yeah. and having fun out there. Absolutely. All right, everyone. Scott Harrison, thank you so much. Appreciate you being with us today. And uh, we will see you at our next game. All right. Thanks for having me.